Today on Tesla Tips and Tricks, we are gonna show you how you can charge your Tesla, well not this one, this one's mine, on one of these, an Electrify America DC Fast Charger, or CCS, with one of these, a CTEC adapter. I know I just blew your mind, but stick with us. This is Tesla Tips and Tricks. Welcome to Tesla Tips and Tricks. My name is Kerry. How's it going? First time you're seeing my face. And this is Marcus. He is the true brains behind the operation. He's the smart one, right? Yep. All right, he's got the big brain when it comes to charging and stuff. All right, so we are talking CTEC CCS adapter for Tesla so you can charge on any of the big networks like Electrify America, ChargePoint, EVGo. Uh, later in the video, I screw up and I say, uh, uh, Plug share. I like saying plug share because I use that app a lot. You use that app a lot. And for some reason, I associate it with uh, uh, charging. I don't know why. So anyway, we are talking CTEC uh, CCS adapter. So you can charge your Tesla. Uh, it just opens up a whole uh, possibilities instead of just relying on supercharging. And the first thing I want to say is I did not receive this adapter for free. They are not paying us any money for this. We paid out of pocket to buy this adapter. And I got to tell you, when I came to this website that you're looking at right there, the first thing I thought was, ooh, this is a little sketchy. Is this going to work? How does this, how do you pay for this? Well, I can tell you that we we bought it and you, you have to pay for uh, via PayPal, which is also kind of sketchy. Clearly they're in China. So you kind of wonder the, about the product's uh, durability. Although, you know, iPhones and Macs and all that stuff come from there. So anyway, here is the website. It's $460 currently. It was like $700 at one point, so such a deal. Um, $460, you have to pay through PayPal. Again, I get it. It feels sketchy. feels like it's, you know, a scam. But I did it, and it actually shipped out of Brea, California. So I have a feeling they shipped, you know, thousands of them over here, and then they shipped from here to make it faster. So, yeah, it came within like three days. The build quality on this thing is very solid. It does not feel cheap at all. Um, in fact, it's a little heavy, but hey, I get it. They got to put all that stuff inside. There's also a USB uh, connector. I hear that you do have to charge a little battery in there once in a while. Um, although Brandon Flash, uh, the EV Nomad said uh, he's never charged his and he's had his like six months, six, eight months. Um, anyway, you can also uh, update the firmware. It says right there. Um, you can update the firmware on this thing through that USB port. We did that immediately. So we're on the latest firmware. Uh, which is, let's see here, so you know what we're dealing with here. Um, yeah, that's the one we have. So 2021, 420, so I'm guessing April 20th. That's the latest firmware update. And uh, we are on that one. And so far we have tested this thing on all the major networks, Electrify America, uh, EVgo, ChargePoint, Chargepoint and um, EV Connect. So those are the four majors that we have tried this and successfully it's worked every time. Um, and that's a good thing, right? So what else did I want to say? Um, you need a Windows computer to update it. Yeah, that's a good point. You do need a Windows computer to update that. So uh, hopefully you've got a friend uh, that has one if you're a Mac user. You can also do it in emulation mode on a Mac, but that's a hassle. We happen to have a, a really old PC lying around. So I just threw the software out there and, and updated it and it seemed to be fine. So uh, what else comes up on the in the groups? Um, how is it different than the Chatamo? Obviously, there are a lot, a lot more CCS coming out there. They're they're building CCS all the time. Chatamo is the dying standard. Okay, so the process that we have found to work the best at Electrify America, and for some reason they they are different at all the chargers. PlugShare, uh, what's the other one? Over by the railroad. Uh, EVgo. EVgo. EVConnect. Uh, EVConnect. So they all have a different process on how to make this work properly. We have found here at Electrify America that if you get your CTEC, you plug it into the CCS uh, cord, then plug it into the Tesla, then push the button on the CTEC, and then initiate the app, it seems to work the best. That is the process that we have found at Electrify America. Now we'll do uh, videos in the future at the other ones. They all kind of are the same, but there's a little differences at some of them, uh, namely the, um, which one, the, the plug share, right? No, not plug share, charge point. Uh, yeah, that's why he's the smart one. 
Uh, so at the charge point, there's a slightly different process and it's really quick and you gotta do it fast and it, or it fails and you gotta do it again. And, but for the most part, these Electrify Americas work the same. So um, that's the process. Uh, once again, just to, to clarify, because there is, if you mess up one of these things, you're gonna come back and comment on our video and say, hey, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, so you plug in the adapter to the CCS, you plug that whole thing into the, the uh, Tesla, then you push the button on the SeatTech, much like a supercharger, and then you initiate it on your phone on the app, not on the, the charge point, the uh, Amer Electrify America unit. For some reason, that doesn't work either. So uh, also the wind has to be blowing from the west and the sun has to have just uh, uh, risen in, in the east. So all those things together and, and it should work. And here we are, we're sustained charging. We're still at 43 kilowatts and um, it, it works well. So you're probably asking yourself, okay, with the supercharger network, why in the world would I want to even do this? Why would I spend that kind of money? Why would I want to charge at another kind of charger? Well, first of all, I like having options. And I didn't like the fact that we had chargers out there. And then there are a lot of them that we couldn't use. Um, so I like having options, especially on road trips. And we do a lot of road trips in, in this car. So having that option, um, it was worth the money for us. Uh, the other thing is, is yes, okay, supercharger network, super robust, works really well. Um, again, why would you get this adapter if you don't need it? And in California, you can make that argument. I mean, it's pretty easy to say there's plenty of superchargers. They're like every few feet now in California. They keep popping up everywhere. And uh, why would you need this? Well, holiday weekend uh, is a good scenario. You're on a road trip. You roll up to a supercharger and there's like 10 cars waiting and across the parking lot you see these these dc fast chargers just sitting idle nobody's using those well how cool would it be i, I hate to even give you this tip it would to, to drive over there and i mean it's a lot faster to charge at 43 kilowatts than be sitting and waiting in a line right so that's another scenario that uh, you could use for for this particular thing now another question that comes up frequently on the facebook groups is why not get the chatamo from uh, tesla and that's perfectly fine. They're about the same price. It runs $400 on their website plus tax. It's roughly the same cost as the SeaTech 460 because uh, they're not charging tax for whatever reason uh, or shipping, I don't think. Um, so the reason is Chatamo is kind of a dying breed. It's, it's a dying standard. It's been around for a very long time. The only cars that uh, up until recently that had it were the Nissan Leafs. And even that's going away. They're not using them anymore. So Chatamo is going away. You'll even notice that a lot of these installs, there's only one Chatamo to like 10 CCS. So CCS is is the future. Chatamo is the past. And um, that's basically the reason why we went with the CCS. It just gives us more options. And that's the whole point of this, this exercise and having this in the trunk is there's just so many more options. It opens up a huge network of chargers on Electrify America uh plug share uh no charge point i keep saying the app plug share anyway charge point um ev go i mean there's so many out there and i would rather have those options rather than me sitting in a line or sometimes you're on a road trip and you know the superchargers don't even uh space out properly you want to stop somewhere for lunch and there happens to be one of these uh at a walmart or nearby uh you'd rather just charge when you stop rather than having to rely on supercharging so again, yes, supercharging is the way to go. It's faster, it's more robust. There are way more out there, but again, it's nice to have options and uh, be able to charge with one of these as well. All right, so we are wrapping things up here with our SeaTech CCS adapter on Electrify America. And we are gonna show you the process of uh, taking it all apart now. So first, go ahead, uh, hit the button. That stops everything. And we take it out of the car. Then we undo the whole thing from the CCS adapter. Now this is a 12 year old, hopefully he can do it. <laughs> All right. Got to kind of pull, there you go. Now it's in our microphone. There you go, we have charged. Oh, we didn't get our final stats. What do we got here? 
We got the 989 that's total always, cost. That's always wrong. It always says it says it yeah. always says we start at 10%. So but we got 23 kilowatts, 31 minutes. We actually went inside to go see if they had any Tesla Hot Wheels. Um, and so there you go. Tesla tips and tricks, electrify America, C-Tech adapter, Tesla. Those are all things that go together now.